In the world of social media management, efficiency is key. And with SocialBee's RSS feature, streamlining your content has never been easier. Let's dive into the power of RSS feeds within SocialBee, starting with what exactly is an RSS feed. RSS, or Really Simple Syndication, is a tool that allows users and applications to access updates from a website. It's a feed format commonly used by websites, particularly blogs, to publish frequently updated content such as articles or news. In Socialbee, it automates content delivery from websites directly to your Socialbee categories. You can set it up by going to your content menu on the left-hand side of your screen, and then to your RSS tab in the sub-menu there. This is where you'll configure your RSS connection. To add a new connection, click on the Add RSS button at the top right corner of your screen. Start by selecting the profiles you want to include this content on. Depending on the profiles you're selecting, you may see some advanced options popping up. If that's the case, you can use these to choose how you want to share your content. Then, add the URL of the website you're trying to pull the RSS from. This can be your own blog or any outside source you want to share content from. Click on Fetch to prompt Socialbee to start looking for articles and you'll see a preview of the latest posts from that blog on the right side. Next, choose the category you want to share your content in and the order of posting it. You can use the category default or you can use one of the two options available. Add it to the top of your queue if you want this post to go out before anything else in your category or add it to the bottom of your queue if you want this to go out last. You can also append text if you want to, like a hashtag or a source. This will make it appear at the end of every single post you import from that feed. Switch to advanced settings to set it up even further. Here, you can opt for different caption options. Depending on the plan that you are on, you might find options for the post title, post description, or no text at all. You can set up expiration options as well, for instance, expiring it after it's been published a number of times or after a specific number of days or even months. You also have short linking options or trimming text to fit X's character limit. You can also switch from a post link preview to an image preview if you're also sharing on Instagram, for instance. Wrap up your configuration by choosing whether this feed imports content as approved or whether you set it out as a draft. Then create your configuration to get things started. You'll have two options here. Import the latest 10 posts or the last one. Once it's all set up, you'll start seeing posts populating your category with new blog posts every time something new appears. You'll see them being labeled as imported via RSS. Now, all you have to do is make sure the posts are approved and the category scheduled. If you need to approve draft posts, you can do so from the Content Approval tab in the Content menu. Here, you can see all the content that's set to draft and you can even filter for only content coming through the RSS feeds. And that's it! If you have any questions about RSS feeds or any Social Bee feature for that matter, feel free to email our team at success at socialbee.com.